Hello everyone, I am joined by Daniel Nielsen. Now you might not recognize this face because A, it's camouflaged by a lot of hair. Also, I feel like you are very fit and trim, but for those who don't know, this is Daniel Nielsen underneath here. So let's just get the easy stuff right out, right out the gate. What has spawned this sort of physical transformation from the, the Daniel we know from 10 years ago? Um, well, the beard just sort of happened because I ran out of shaving cream and I was lazy. So, and then it sort of got a bit far. I was like, well, I've come this far. I might as well let it keep going. Now it's like full Lord of the Rings. Like we're not going back Gandalf. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and the hair too. I mean, you have like a glorious mane all the way around. Yeah. I just really like not having to go get haircuts and shaving. It's pretty annoying. So. Now, do you find though, because I've, I had this with my own husband, that once it gets to a certain point that you get so much sort of attention and there's so much focus on everyone always talking about it, that maybe at a certain point it's like you're attached to the beard. Yeah, it's definitely starting to feel like that. I mean, people wouldn't recognize me if I got rid of it now. So. I didn't recognize you. I was <laughs> yeah. like, who's the bearded guy? They were like, Daniel Nielsen. I was like, wait, what? Are you crazy? Yeah. I mean, it's good when I don't want to talk to people and just walk straight past them. <laughs> just full camo. Well, I want to talk to you a little bit about, um, you know, these one day super high rollers and one day high rollers are something that I think have been emerging a lot more in the poker world. There's always been the turbo tournaments, but these more high stake ones, I think, um, you know, it changes the feel a little bit, it changes the vibe a little bit. It's You can't just stack off, spew off, who cares, turbo, turbo, you know, it's a lot of money. And I think it's a really interesting dynamic, this one here specifically, because the Chinese players, this may or may not be true for everyone, but it's sort of a stereotype that they're happy to gamble and interested in sometimes just getting it in and gambling. So talk to me a little bit just about um, you know the vibe of these high rollers and how you how you have to go in to find your spots that actually have equity. Um, well, I mean it's just like any other tournament, I guess. But obviously, being turbo, it goes a lot quicker. And like you said, the Chinese are more willing to gamble. And being one day, they do get to gamble a lot more, a lot quicker, which works out well for everyone. <laughs> I'm, I'm so surprised actually there's a ton of people here but then I guess I realized you know in Panama the field size was pretty small and then we get here and everyone's here and I realized that there some people are obviously seeing some value in this field. Yeah well apparently the Red Dragon or whatever it was a few months was really good. I think word got around about that so everyone decided to show up for this one. <laughs> Well, we all really appreciate it. Now, for those who are kind of, you know, novice, newer players, could you give a little bit of tips for, um, you know, this sort of turbo structure, some ways that people can adjust their games when you're looking into a tournament that's going to be going really fast? Um, I mean, I guess you just have to pick your spots more, um, get it in more. Um, that's what she said. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Um, yeah, I don't know, you just approach it like any other tournament, but I guess you get shorter stacked quicker, so there's a lot more action quicker. Keep it going, have fun. And now, did you play the main event already? I did, I busted the second last hand of the day, so... Put in a whole day's work and then forget exactly. about it. Yep. But exactly. you'll be here the rest of the week, enjoying all the rest of the tournament? Yep, for sure. Yep. We, now we've uh, revealed, he can't hide anymore. <laughs> You're never going to not know. When you see Gandalf the Great, no, it's actually Daniel Nielsen. I'm Sarah Herring, you guys are with us on PokerNews.com. Thank you.